So I've recently updated my investment tracking spreadsheet, which is updated to include an import of Trading212. I did a video a few months ago where I talked about everything on the spreadsheet, where I did an in-depth guide to walk you through how to use the spreadsheet and each of the individual parts, which enable you to use this spreadsheet for yourself. But since I updated the spreadsheet to include Trading212, there's been a few changes. I just want to make this video to make sure that there's information out there to enable people to use this spreadsheet with the new updates. And if you do have a Trading212 portfolio, you can use this spreadsheet as well. The spreadsheet is fairly simple to use once you're set up with your portfolio. There is a few steps that you do need to do to set yourself up on the spreadsheet. I'm going to take you through a quick guide on how to use it and then answer some common questions I get regarding the use of this spreadsheet. But before I get into the video, if you're new here or you regularly watch my videos but you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with my portfolio. And you can get the spreadsheet that I'm about to talk through in the description of the video where I send out a monthly update with all the changes that I've got on my own portfolio so you can follow along with my portfolio and also use the spreadsheet for yourself. Let's get into the video. When you come to download the spreadsheet, you click on the first link in the description and that takes you to the download page. So all you have to do is enter your email address, click join the list, then you'll receive an email to confirm your email, and this is to do with data privacy. And then once confirming your email, it will take you to the download page. And you can choose from the import version or the data input version. Now the import version is just as simple as inputting the download from free trade or trading 212. And the data input version is a very manual process where you have to input all of the data from your trading apps. So if you're using free trade, this tab here, the free trade import tab, this is the tab you'll want to use. So the first thing you'll need to do is to download your free trade import data. And if you're using Trading212, it's the same process where you're on this tab here. And the same thing, you download your Trading212 import data. I'm going to walk you through the Trading212 import data download. And I'll also show the free trade download import data at the same time. So when you come to Trading212, you'll probably be on a page like this, where you're on your homepage. You also have your portfolio page. But to get the download data, you need to come to the three lines on the bottom right. Come down to history. And then on the top right, there's export history. So you can make a new export. If this is your first time using the spreadsheet, then you want to go from the beginning of opening your account. So for me, I think this is about the 1st of May. And then you want to go to the latest date that you can download it, or you can go to the end of the month. So for me, this is the 22nd of October. You want to include all of your data, which is the orders, dividends, transactions, and interest on your cash. And then you just click export CSV. And then up here, you just click download, download, and then download. And then that's ready to send off via email to yourself. And the best way to do that is to just email it to yourself and then you can download it from your email. And the process is very similar to free trade and you hopefully would have seen that on the screen at the same time. So when you get your Trading212 export, it will look something beginning with the action, which will be the deposit or the interest on cash or a market buy. And then it will go all the way along down to currency conversion fee. Then you have to paste in that whole bit of data from column A, which will be the action, paste that in. It should overwrite my data. Any data that's left on the spreadsheet, which is my data, you just have to delete that. And the same thing for free trade, you're going to input that in, in the cell G12. You want to copy and paste the whole bit of data that you get exported. And any data that isn't overridden, that is my data, you just need to delete that out. And what you will need to do for trading 212 is just drag down the formulas in these cells all the way down to the bottom. One, this is to fix the date that Trading212 gives you to fix it to an actual date that we can use. And two is to track the value over time and any market buys that we have in the, in the portfolio. And the same thing for free trade, but you have to drag down the formulas in F, E, B, and C, and then paste in the date in column F into column D as values. And then you want to go to data, text the columns, and just hit finish when you've highlighted that date. And that's simply because of the of a formatting issue with Excel and the way that the date format is written when it's exported from free trade. But if you're using one or the other, so if you're using Trading212 but you're not using free trade, you can simply just delete all of this data. And the same thing if you're using free trade but you're not using Trading212, you can just delete all of the Trading212 data. I wouldn't delete either of the tabs. If you want to remove them, just right click and hide. This is simply because it will mess up some of the formulas that are sat in the info tab. As you can see here, in the total amount invested, you've, we're using the free trade import and the trading212 import. And if they're deleted, it will mess up the formulas. Now, once you've pasted in your data, you will need to know the tickers for all of the stocks that you own. And all you have to do then is just paste those tickers into column B. And then that should update the data that's in these columns. The only other thing that's necessary for the spreadsheet is the use of the data type stocks. 
So what you will need to do is I'll show an example here. Is if I take the stock ticker NVDA, which is NVIDIA, and I paste it down here. And then I come up here to the data type stocks, and I just convert NVIDIA to the stocks data type. It will bring up a data selector over here on the right, which you can't actually see. Let me just move that across. And all you have to do is just select the one that is relevant, which is the, the NASDAQ stock market NVDA. You just select that, and then that changes that data type to this information here which matches these over here. I would also advise entering in the sector because this enables us to see the split per sector, enables you to have extra things split out. The best thing to do to not mess up some of the graphs and charts that are on the spreadsheet is to not delete the data before you start inputting your own data. It's actually just to overwrite the data that's already sat there and then delete anything remaining afterwards. And the final thing before I go to the questions is when you enter in your stock information, you need to make sure you enter in the market. So whether it's an ETF, US or UK. That's because this spreadsheet converts to UK price. So if you're using a US stock, it's very important to transfer it to pounds. You want to state whether it's a US stock or a UK stock. And if you have stocks that aren't available to track, you can just enter the current share price in on this blue column here. The previous video I did went more in depth into the, into the spreadsheet, showed you what every single graph did, where every single graph linked, and showed you how to update all of the individual graphs if anything goes wrong. But I'm not going to go through that in this video simply because I don't want to make it a 40 minute video like I did my last one. So now I'm just going to go through some of the common questions that I get regarding the spreadsheet, just so that hopefully some of these answer some of your questions. So one of the most common questions I actually get is how, how do you download the spreadsheet? The simple answer to that is the first link in my description takes you to my website. And then from there, you just enter your email address in and you should receive an email from me pretty quickly. And that link will take you to the page which will allow you to actually download the spreadsheet. One of the most common questions I actually got before I switched Trading212 was the ability to import Trading212 data. You did have the ability to import any type of data into the spreadsheet. It's just that it's built specifically for free trade and Trading212. If you have a very intermediate to expert level of Excel skills, then you can figure this out yourself. But this is built for free trade and Trading212 now, so you should be able to import from both platforms. In my other video, I explained how you can actually import any other information. It's just about changing where the formulas look in the spreadsheet. And the other questions I get is, does it actually track other stocks other than just US and UK stocks? This spreadsheet is limited to what Excel's stock data information can actually track. So at the moment, the this, this spreadsheet is limited to tracking the price of stocks that are actually on their system. I don't know what stocks they are. It's not as good as Google Sheets. So Google Sheets has a lot more formulas that you can use. It can actually track like dividend yield and all that sort of stuff. Excel doesn't have that capability. The spreadsheet is limited into in what it can do, but it's a good way of tracking your own information. Yes, most of the information is fixed, but it's fixed on what information you put in. The final question that I used to get when I first started making the spreadsheet was, is it available on Google Sheets? The spreadsheet isn't available on Google Sheets. Currently, I did plan on making a Google Sheets version, but it would, it would take a long time to transfer all of it over to Google Sheets because it's not as simple as just copy and paste. So currently it is only available on Excel, but if you're looking for a Google Sheets version, I'd recommend content creators like Ryan Williams. Uh, he's from the US, but he does have a good spreadsheet on Google Sheets, which is fairly simple. It's just a case of entering information into it and that tracks the same sort of information. And I believe it's free. That is the end of the tutorial on the import version of my spreadsheet. There is another version, which is the data input version, I'm not going to go through that in this video. I actually still think my video from eight months ago is relevant for the data input version. So you can watch that video to get the information on how to use that spreadsheet. But like I keep saying, to download the spreadsheet it is free. You just need to go to the first link in the description, it takes you to my website. You then need to click on the first link, which takes you to the email page. And then you just need to enter your email, sign up to the newsletter, and you will receive the spreadsheet in your emails. Now, if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I'm really hoping to close in on a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And it really helps me knowing that I get all the support when I give out this free spreadsheet. And if you have any suggestions on improvements to the video content or ideas for content going forward, then please give me a comment below and I'll leave you a reply. And if you have any questions on how to use the spreadsheet, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer your question. Thank you.